Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to several engineers youtube channel today in this practical video i will guide you for design of floor beam so let's get start guys as you can see guys this is floor beam steel reinforcement design depth of this beam is 16 inches width is 12 inches guys you can see clearly three steel rods at the bottom three at the top dia is 16 millimeter if you come to the real design so this is not the proper design according to steel structural drawing that's why because of stirrups they did some mistakes in stirrups as well as guys in tension zone they provided three steel rods at the top also they provided three steel rods guys in tension zone we should provide maximum four steel rods that's why because concrete is weak in tension but it's strong in compression so therefore guys in compression zone if they provide two steel rods so no problem but at the bottom four steel rods should be provided to make a good result now guys you can see here clearly stirrup dia is six millimeter which is not the proper for this floor beam hooks you can see guys which are provided are bent with 90 degrees so also this is not the proper design next guys you can see they provided lapping at the bottom in tension zone they provided the lapping guys you can see clearly now here you will have a question is that it okay this lapping guys this is one of the big mistakes to provide lapping length at the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment so this is not the proper place to provide lapping length guys the lapping length should be provided after l by 4 distance so to the distance of l by 5 you are able to provide lapping length because we have negative bending moment so this is the danger place so this is not good next guys you can see this is RCC column size is 12 by 12 inches they provided air steel rods dia is 16 millimeter next guys you can see the stirrup spacing to the distance of L by 4 also at the middle spacing is same which is 8 inches the spacing of stirrups should be difference especially in L by 4 distance are to the distance of are at the middle that's why because if they placed same distance between stirrups so this is not okay according to steel structural design that's why because of stirrups should be placed closely to the distance of l by 4 where l is length between two rcc columns guys you can see clearly they provided hooks with 90 degree so it should be provided on 135 degree so this is the proper design guys you can see here clearly the first stirrup should be placed with minimum 2 inches distance unfortunately they provided minimum with maximum which is 7 inches guys you can see here clearly everything 3 steel rods at the bottom 3 at the top size, size of the beam is 12 by 16 inches one other mistake guys you can see they run sanitary pipe a rainy water pipe inside rcc column so this is one of the big big mistake in the construction of this column that's why because it can weak the column guys you can see clearly everything you can see in this section If you have anything in your mind so you can comment about this video especially for this floor beam construction especially in the junction between beam and column they should provide bent up bar or crank bar to resist negative bending moment so therefore i'm telling you they should provide four steel rods at the bottom at the middle two steel rods should be bent with the dis distance of L by 4 to resist negative bending moment to the upward side. 
Also guys, you can see this is the end of the beam. They did not provide any development length because the cutting length is not okay. So at cutting length should be extent when the distance are uh, minimum, it should be nine inches. The development length. Guys, you can see they marked the, uh, the steel rods to provide are placed stirrups. Guys, you can see they did not provide the development length. Development length should not be less than 12 inches. Also, guys, on the other side, you can see. Simply, I will tell you guys, they did not construct this beam according to state structure drawing. Guys, you can see at the upper portion, they provided a lapping. Guys, the lapping, the lapping can be provided at the beam, especially at the middle or at the middle of the, or at the center, you can say simply. But they provided lapping at the top. Instead of provide extra steel rods are bent up bar, they provided lapping length. So guys, this is one of the big mistake. This is wasting of time, wasting of money. By self, they are making problems in this construction. Guys, you can see they are placing the stirrups for this beam also. Hope this video can help you guys. If you have any question, according to this detailed reinforcement detail, so you can comment. I will try to replay your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.